Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is using the Photos app to do a little color correction to make your pictures look that much better so when you upload them to Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or wherever you upload them to, they just pop that much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up that Photos app. And before we get started, I'm going to show you the before and the after. So this is the before. It's a really bright sunny day, about 100 degrees outside in Austin, Texas. This is the initial picture. If I scroll to the right here, this is the picture after I did a little bit of color correction. So there's a lot more pop and you can see more detail in the shadows and stuff like that. So you can do that for free with this app. So what you're going to do is actually tap on that edit button at the top right corner. And what that'll do is give you controls at the bottom. So the second icon to the right, the little uh, volume dial type thing, if you tap on that, it's going to give you the ability to edit light, color, and also you can do black and white. So what I do is I usually start with the light and I'll change the exposure or the highlights depending on how I want the picture to actually look. So for me, this is trial and error. I'm not a professional at this, but I can definitely get the pictures to look the way I want them to. So I'm going to start with exposure and then I'm going to use my finger or my thumb and just kind of turn it up or turn it down. And because it's such a bright day, it really doesn't need much here. Next, to get to the next component that I'm going to use, or the next feature I'm going to use, I'll tap on the, the three dots with the three lines here. And we can get back into highlights or shadows or brightness. So what I'm going to do here is kind of mess around with the highlights and see how I want it to actually look. Since it's so bright, I actually sometimes might want to go negative versus all the way positive. So again, depending on the picture, the lighting conditions, the weather, you can kind of mess around and get the way you want it to look. And the shadows, I'm going to go ahead and hit the shadows as well. I want those to come out more. So you'll notice the actual light in the shadows comes out a lot more. Before it was dark and now it's a lot more. So I'm going to bump this up. Uh, probably about right there. Okay. And then I'm going to hit those three lines again. From here, brightness and contrast, I'm not too sure about. I'm going to have a look at contrast right here. And maybe I'll go a little negative on the contrast on the light side. Then most importantly, I like to hit the color. So we'll hit the color. And I like to bump up the saturation, definitely, to get more greens and blues out of it. So you got to be careful because some of the reds will get really, really bright. But uh, if you'll notice, if you go all the way to low, it's, it's a black and white, basically. You slowly slide it. And I want to get to probably about halfway. And right there, I'm really happy with the image. I think it looks a lot better than the original. So we'll stay right there. Let me go ahead and check uh, the cast here. Mm, do I like that cast? And again, it's definitely trial and error, but messing around with different images, you can get them to look a lot different. So really cool. And once you're finished with all your editing, basically you just hit that done button. And now you have a edited image. So I'm going to go back here and edit. And I'm going to revert to the original. I want you to take a look at the screen in three, two, one. Okay, revert to the original. So much different of a picture, yeah, from from that to this. And this will look way better on, on a Instagram post or a Twitter or Facebook post. So definitely a cool free tool that comes with every iPhone and every iPad and iPod Touch. So that's it. Again, as always, peace and aloha. Uh -huh.